guys, it is Gary here from Tears Rose and Red, and I'm going to show you how to play uh, Control. Uh, recently released this track uh, yesterday, the 21st of July 2015, and it's now Wednesday the 22nd, and I'm making this video. So, standard D on the uh, tuning, so from the bottom string to the top string it'll be D, F, D, G, sorry, D, G, C, F, A, D. Okay? Nice tuning, quite good for acoustic stuff. Obviously brilliant for uh, metal as well. That's why we use it. So, the um, clean intro. So it's across these bottom four strings here, six, five, four, three, D, G, C, F, like that, and it is uh, the second fret in the A string and the fourth fret in the D string. The sixth string and third string are open, like that. Except for the second half, where the root changes to F, so the third fret in the D string, uh, the bottom E string or the sixth string, should I say? Um, and then it goes to the 4th fret on the G string to uh, make it a full B power chord or A since I'm tuned down like that Okay, so I'm sure you can work out the arpeggio. It's just them top four strings there, bottom four strings, second fret and the A string, fourth fret and the D string, sixth string and G string are open. So yeah, I'm sure you can work it out. Second half, the root changes to F. Then for the last two times you go, it's with the fourth fret and the G string instead. So like I said, it's a full A power chord since I'm tuned down but B position like that so yeah uh, and then it comes in with the lead which starts on the ninth fret on the D string yeah there's another lead which starts on the 12th fret of the G string like that uh, so the whole intro lead um, that comes in in the clean intro along with the bass. Uh, the bass just plays the root notes of the arpeggio, so that would go... That's basically the whole progression for the track, really. D, F, A. Common progression. It's worked quite nicely. So, um, yeah, the uh, intro lead starts on the ninth fret of the... Uh, D string and it is slide into it so 9 on D give the 5th fret some vibrato and slide down so just watch that back it's going to take quite a while if I show you it fret for fret, but I'm recording a video right now, so uh, but yeah, just watch it back. Use YouTube speed thing, slow it down. You can see what I'm doing. But it's all on the D string, and it starts on the ninth fret and ends on the fifth fret. And uh, give the fifth fret some vibrato and slide right down like that. But yeah, it starts on the ninth fret, um, and then it goes into this build up, which is. The open 6th string, 2nd fret in the A string, 4th fret in the D string. Then it uses the 5th fret on the D string. And then the root changes again to from D to F, so the 3rd fret on the bottom string. Like that. Like that. So that build up is this, to speed, where the toms come in.
and right at the end it goes onto the fifth fret for the last two strokes. The whole position um, moves up from three to five across the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, up to five, four, seven. Like that. So. Slide up, three strokes. And then it kicks into the verse, which is basically the clean intro just dist uh, distorted and some bits are palm muted, some notes are open. So the uh, verse to speed. Like that, that's the verse. So with this, you've got to practice your hand movements really. You really need to focus on muting that G string. Because it sounds a bit horrible if it rings out. Um, that's one thing we experimented with when we were writing the song. Like that. And the very last time you stroke the, uh, the you, well, you pick the uh, second fret on the A string, it's open rather than palm muted. So the top two strings, they're palm muted. The D and G strings, they're more opened up for this. So. Like that. So that's the verse. Again, it changes the root on the sixth string, changes from open to the third fret. Like that. Um, and then it goes into the build up again, which we're, which is, we, we use this, the uh, chorus, we call the chorus. That's right between the two verses, so there's no like two bar break or anything like. That or whatever just goes verse straight into the chorus, straight back into the verse. Um, so that build up that's before the first verse is also the chorus, like that, just one riff, both guitars. Um, and the middle section, the middle solo -y section, before it goes to the clean break where the clean intro is repeated and there's Dylan's whispering vocals over it with some delay and stuff. Then it goes into the outro section with another solo over it. Um, the rhythm for that is this at full speed. So it starts on the 8 power chord. that so that's the uh, the rhythm for the middle section and there's another solo over that which starts on the 12th fret of the G string and that is full speed uh, move a little bit closer so you can see but yeah it starts on the 12th fret so the double dots here of the G string to the fourth string like that Starts on 12 on G, ends on 9, and again it's all on the G string, while the first lead starts on the 9th fret of the D string, and it's all on the D string. That. That's the two leads. Um, 
and the first lead in the intro also is over the outro. Um, so it goes, the, um, it does the clean break again after that solo section where it goes right at the end. Stops like that, and then the clean intro starts. Like that, that goes through twice. With Dylan's whispering vocals over it with some delay and stuff. Um, and then it goes into the final section, goes into the final riff. Where the second time through, the original lead from the intro is heard again. So the outro riff is, again based in this, okay, based in that position again, it's got the open G string, so it is based off the verse riff. So I end on five power chord, slide down to the second fret, repeat. So it's, it's emphasis on this fourth fret in the D string here, really. So the root notes are open. Fourth fret on the G string. And then the hit, you hit the 4th fret on the G string and slide up and then finish the arpeggiation. Watch my hand. Just slide up and then... That's the end of the song there. You hold on to the fifth. Um, for a bar. One, two, three. Slide down, just hit an open D. And that fades out while the lead finishes and the ride symbol's going. Uh, right at the end. So that's all of your riffs for Control by my band that's here, Frozen Red. As I say in these tutorials, practice with the song, listen to the song, um, tune up, standard D on the tuning, as I said, um, and enjoy it. That's all your riffs. Thanks for watching. Cheers.